Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be bringing you a new video on what I do when I go pond fishing. So, to start this thing off, I'm going to give you all a deal. I've only done a couple of these, like how-to videos or such and such this, describing this. Um, so, if you like these kind of videos, let me know. Because... I kind of enjoy video doing them because my purpose on my YouTube channel is to help people learn and grow and have more fun with fishing and make it a passion, just like I have. So, I'll tell you what, if I get the three thumbs up on this video, then I'll do another one. So, let's first get started onto this by describing what I do when I go fishing. So sometimes I'll just have those days where like, oh man, I gotta pick all my stuff up and do everything. So what I do is I take my soft plastics, like you see in here, and I put them back up on my pegboard. And then whenever I go fishing and I'm in a rush, I just take those soft plastics and I just grab them and then I toss them into my bag. So that's what I do. and I. Um, I only bring a certain type of bait for the place I'm going, and some of this stuff I just always use because this is for more clear water places. It's kind of like a green pumpkin color, uh, watermelon red, and then this one uh, I don't use too often because I I lost all of my laser trocar hooks, and they're the only s smallest ones that will fit those. Um, but they're also the strongest, and like this, this is huge, um, I don't normally use those, and lizards isn't something I fish in ponds a lot, and spinner baits are awesome pond baits, but some aren't just very fit for some of the places I fish, so yeah, I have my line right there, but um, anyways, as we get into our hard baits right here, like, I'll have all of my soft plastics right here. Like you got buzz toads and lizards and flutes and crawls, all that good stuff. But when you really want to know what I use most of the time, it's in here. So what I have here is this right here. Normally face this way, so I have day box. And I have jigs, and on the other side of that, I have panfish. So, whenever I go somewhere that I know there's panfish, I normally bring my one of my panfish rods. So, in here, I keep my hooks and weights, which is a like a hodgepodge of stuff. And then I have random stuff that I've cut off. I have topwaters in this row. So you got, like, the frog... A buzz bait, a uh, buzz popping frog, popper, spooks, tiny torpedoes. And then over here I have my divers. So you would have like your square bills and lipless cranks, red eye shads, same thing. And then this guy, y'all know this guy, but this guy has been chirping since yesterday because my tackle box is all wet and I'm pretty mad about that. And then right here we have like my jerk base over here and another rattle trap. And then right here I have the little panfish hook thing. That's not important. We keep I keep my spinner baits in this little square thing just because uh, if you try to fit them in one of these little rows, they'll like bend. And I know this doesn't fit to like everybody's tackle box, but I just wanted to make an instructional video on like how I keep my stuff organized when I go pond fishing. And then in this box, I have jigs, which I haven't organized this box in who knows how long. So normally, right here, I'd put my green, green pumpkin and, sorry, and black and blue flipping jig, or casting jig. I use them as flipping jigs. They work just as well. And then in this little pocket right here, I have my one and only football jig. I lost the other one, it's called a football jig, as a football shaped head. And then, I just have a couple other black and blue stuff, this is a 
swim jig right here. Uh, and then this is a, another little casting jig right here. So, that's basically it. And then for panfish, there's just something. I'm just doing this randomly. This doesn't apply to everybody, but hey, it's alright. So, I have my little tad fries. Um, little swim baits. Little like chicken boy lures these are really good for small bass and ponds i have my little feathered stuff some grubs like uh crappie jigs um some more little grubs some bizarre baits like a trout wacky worm and little miniature lizard and then we have some black grubs and some orange and green grubs and some yellow grubs. Uh, I know Cam or C A M. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. If you're watching till the end of this video, you're awesome. Thanks for the support. And uh, hopefully you'll win my next giveaway so you can get some of these crappy grubs. I got some craws. Some I don't know what you'd call these things, but they're really good for some reason. Some miniature tiny panfish tubes. Um, some little grubs, uh, buckshots, snapshots, whatever, and jig heads. So, I hope you guys like this instructional video on what I do when I go pond fishing. See you later. Bye-bye.